Greetings, welcome to this new video about dependent source surface analysis solved problem number 9. Let's consider this network consisting of four resistors labeled R1 through R4, along with two independent voltage sources VA and VB. Additionally, we can observe the presence of dependent sources, especially a voltage control voltage source and a current controlled current uh, source. The question now is to find Ix and uh, Vx. This is, is the current Ix and Vx is the voltage across the resistor R4 using the super mesh uh, analysis. Let's move on to the solution. First, let's begin by defining the number of meshes in this network. It's evident that there are three meshes. Now let's proceed to assign the mesh currents in this network and I will consider I1 is the current in mesh 1, I2 is the current in mesh 2 and I3 is the current in mesh 3. All the currents are chosen in the clockwise direction. After we finish the assignment of the mesh currents we need to remove the branch contain the current controlled current source to Ix. Then we obtain our super mesh. By applying now Kirchhoff's voltage law in the super mesh, we can write negative 4 Vx plus R2 I2 minus I1 plus R3 I2 minus Vb plus R4 I3 is equal to 0. We can see here that Ix is equal to I2. And according to Ohm's law, we have the current I3 is equal to, uh, or the voltage Vx is equal to R4 multiplying by I3 according to Ohm's law is equal to AT I3. By replacing the resistors with the, and the voltage with their numerical values, and by substituting here uh, the, the expression of Vx in the first equation, we obtain finally uh, 56 I2 minus 20 I, I1 minus 240 I3 minus 96 is equal to 0 and I will call this equation 1. Let's move on now to mesh 1. By applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in mesh 1, we can write negative VA plus R1 I1 plus R2 I1 minus I2 plus 4 Vx is equal to 0. By replacing the resistors and the voltage with their numerical values and also by replacing Vx with 80I3, then we obtain 30I1 minus 16I2 plus 320I3 minus 80 and I is equal to 0 and I call this equation 2. We currently have two equations with the three unknowns. That means we require one additional equation to solve this problem. Let's focus on uh, the current or the current controlled current source 2ix then we can write 2ix is equal to i3 minus i2. That means 3i2 minus i3 is equal to 0. We just replace ix by i2. After we finish applying the super mesh analysis, we obtain three equations with the three unknowns. Let's start first with equation 3. From equation 3, we can write I3 is equal to 3I2. And here we express I3 in terms of uh, I2. Now, by substituting equation A in 1, we can write 56I2 minus 20I1 minus 720I2 minus 96 is equal to 0. If we continue simplifying this equation, we expressed also I1 in terms of I2, which is given by negative 664I2 minus 96 over 20, and I will call this equation B. Now, by substituting A and B in 2, we derive one equation in terms of I2. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain finally 
negative 52 i2 minus 224 is equal to 0 that means i2 is equal to negative 224 over 52 is equal to negative 4.4 amps and we know that ix is equal to i2 that means ix is equal to negative 4.4 amps and from equation a we have i3 is equal to 3i2 if we replace i2 with its value then we obtain i3 is equal to negative 13.2 amps and according to ohm's law vx is equal to r4 i3 if we replace now R4 with its value and I3 also with its value, we obtain Vx is equal to negative 1.05 kilovolt. After completing the calculation, we conduct a simulation using SPICE to verify our results. Now let's proceed to the SPICE environment. Here is our, our network drawn in SPICE simulator. We can see here, this is, is the voltage source VA and the resistor R1, R2, R3 and R4. The voltage source VB and we have here our voltage controlled voltage source and current controlled current uh, source. I connect here a, volt, a voltmeter to measure the voltage through the resistor R4 and here to measure the current uh, IX. Let's move on to analysis, DC analysis, calculate nodal voltages. We can see here that uh, Vx is equal to negative 1.08 kilovolt and the current Ix is equal to negative 4.48 amps. It's almost the same value we have done by calculation. All right, thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and I will answer you as soon as possible. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share. See you next time in another video. Take care and bye bye.